G'day guys, Paul here. Just got some info that um, a lot of people out there, mainly a lot of the guys I think in the USA, might want to know. Um, I've spent a lot of my spare time in the last few months um, trying to figure this out and uh, found out a solution that works really well for me. Uh, I've, I own about seven different welders um, and I used to be an electronics technician, qualified. Um, I just got out of the industry because I didn't like being cooped up in a little room soldering all day. Um, yeah, so anyway, so what it is is you're using an AC old stick welder, the transformer in it, which is almost the only component in an AC stick welder, old one, it's a big transformer. You're using the secondary winding um, as an inductor and uh, transformers work on AC power to induce uh, the magnetic field collapses and goes on and off and induces a voltage in the other winding. Uh, in this case we're using it with DC so it's not going to work like a transformer but for safety anyway as it powers up and powers down and a bit of fluctuation in arc voltage um, it would pay to chop off the power cord to the AC stick welder and fully insulate all the wires um, so that you can't, act, no one can accidentally touch any of the wires or the 240 volt plug of the AC stick welder if you follow my drift. Um, and yeah, this has worked for me on all of my welders that have 70 volts open circuit voltage or higher. Um, it makes them run 6010 electrodes. I've got a few different brands sent to me by Clay, um, one of my friends who's a pipe welder. And the 5P plus Lincoln rods were the most intermittent. The arc would just go out regardless of the arc length. Um, even with my Everlast welders that have a 6010 button arc force on every different setting possible, um, open circuit voltage of 70 volts it, it, it didn't seem to matter but doing this with the transformer as an inductor in line with the negative uh, clamp work clamp lead works wonders it's amazing I just can't believe how good it runs the 6010 rods now I'm so happy <laughs> alright guys yeah so hope you uh, get some info and burn them 6010s more successfully. Thanks, see ya. Okay, so you connect your DC inverter welder. Negative port goes to the any side of the AC welder's um, either work clamp or electrode holder, doesn't matter which one. And then from there run to your work clamp there so again negative of the welder goes in there through the secondary windings of the transformer and it acts like an inductor because we're not powering this up at all no power no 240 volts AC or anything getting plugged in yeah so and then yeah from the negative to there then out again to complete the circuit to the work clamp. All right, and here is with the transformer as an inductor all connected up. All done.
and in my opinion it is best to disconnect the on the old AC stick welder that you get the power cord that plugs in the wall socket I fully took it out cut it off and then it went up to this power switch here on this particular welder and then back again to the primary windings of the transformer and I heat shrink them up really well and made sure they can't touch the case metal case or anything um, just to be extra extra precautious because again we're not using this as plugging in the wall power at all we're just running the negative welding cable through the secondary coil on the transformer to act like an inductor um, and you can see there the secondary coil goes to one bolt there and one bolt there to those two which is like your work clamp and your electrode holder slash stinger in series it's just passing through the coil and out again